Hi YouTube, it's Omega7373 and I want to give you an update on my weight loss. Um, in my last video, you know, someone noticed that I was um, looking different and I am losing weight and so I wanted to go ahead and give you all an update. I recently joined a gym and have been working out twice a day. You know, some people are really good at, you know, working out an hour, hour and a half consistently. That's not me. After 30, 45 minutes, I'm kind of losing interest or too tired to really motivate myself to keep on going and so I found that with the gym that where I have a membership you know it's five minutes from my house so it's not inconvenient for me to go at seven o'clock in the morning do 30 minutes of cardio maybe a little bit of strength training and then go back in the evening for like if they have a Zumba class or to do more cardio or do a little bit more strength training I'm still playing around with the times because there tends to be a lot of males at my gym who are already into weight and strength training and so I do get a little intimidated going in the area where the weights are and lifting weights with them so I'm still trying to figure out in the morning what time how early do I need to go for them not to be there um, and my gym opens as early as 5 a.m. and I've gone 7 o'clock 8 30 and 9 30 and there's too many dudes there um, for me to go to the weights and so I think I'm actually going to try to see if I go 5 five thirty, if that is going to give me the freedom to go in the weight section and um, lift some weights but I'm really enjoying it I actually um, did find uh, a company that does in-home or mobile trainers so that if you have a gym membership they'll meet you at your gym if you just want to work out at home they'll bring equipment to your home or if you'd like to work out outside like in a park or a nature trail you know they kind of accommodate you in that way and I was going to move forward with that because they have uh, an agreement with the Shakeology and that's incorporated into one of their packages and so you're able to get a trainer to come out to you two times a week plus Shakeology at a really good all you know all things considered it is pricey but all things considered it's a really good package being that if you're just using Shakeology just itself it's $130 for a month supply just for Shakeology so you know I think I'm pretty consistent with going to the gym again it's only five minutes from my house and I am not lose like shedding the pounds that I necessarily want to shed but I do see a difference in my body if I was measuring myself it probably would you know show up in the inches but as I look through um, videos, and I'm, I took some still shots just to show you all, like that really helped me see that me putting forth all this effort and trying different things, it is really paying off. Um, I have not been consistent with my supplements. And just to clarify, some people were like, why are you taking all these weight loss supplements? Some of the supplements that I was detailing in my last video, not all of them were strictly for weight loss. They were, some of them were like the fish oils and antioxidants are just for good overall health if you're trying to lose weight for me initially when I started I wasn't really concerned about being my health I just wanted to look skinnier I just wanted to look the way I wanted to but throughout this process I have decided that I am concerned about my health and that those are things that while I'm losing weight I want to make sure that I'm already that I'm also incorporating healthy habit habits um, that I can maintain and I find that I do struggle with the supplements and you know all of those things but I'm still trying to figure out ways that I can be more consistent with them again because some of them are just for good general health and not only for me trying to lose weight um, I found that the green uh, coffee extract was effective but it wasn't as aggressive as the Oxy Elite Pro and so I became a little discouraged in losing that because it was maybe like a, around a pound, give or take, a week that it would help me. But I had to take it 30 minutes before every meal. So it's a lot of effort to put forth for a, a little bit of um, return. And when I first saw it on Dr. Oz's show, the women who were taking it were heavier. So just like, you know, on The Biggest Loser, things like that, when you're really heavy, you know, you'll be more dramatic when you start your late um, weight loss process and you know on Biggest Loser you may see somebody in their first way in having lost you know 10 pounds 14 pounds but once they get smaller it gets more of a challenge to lose that amount of weight in that amount of time.
So, you know, being that I've already lost my first 25 pounds and I'm trying to lose my second 20, and at this point, more, more around like 15 is what I'm trying to lose. Um, the supplements are, the weight loss supplements, unless I'm using something really aggressive, they aren't going to help me really shed a whole lot of pounds per week like I want to. Um, so that is where I am right now. When I did my weigh-in with the, uh, the consultation I did with the trainer at my gym, I was 166. Um, that's not what I was weighing in at home because, again, I weigh myself in the morning time um, in my birthday suit versus at the gym when I had already eaten that day and I had my, you know, gym clothes on and my sneakers. So, I don't remember what I was weighing at home at that point. I know it wasn't 166. But one thing that they're trying to get me away from is weighing myself every day and not being so concerned about the pounds, but the changes that I'm seeing in my body. And I understand that. But for me, the weight is just a tracker. Um, so I have kind of changed my mentality as far as when it comes to you know, having to be a certain weight, but that is like right now how I'm tracking it because I'm not really interested in doing measurements. So right now I'm around 140, excuse me, I wish. I'm around 161, 162. And I definitely have seen changes. I took some still shots um, of videos that I had done in the past while I was trying to lose weight, just so to give you all a visual of over time, um, how my body is changing and you know again this pro my first video was really talking about CLA Oxalate Pro the second video was giving an update on that and that I was going to try the green coffee this video I've kind of shared with you all my experience with the green coffee extract and that I'm just back on board with exercising and I do do a um, a meal replacement shake it's a GNC um, lean shake and it has more nutrients and uh, vitamins or minerals than just like a protein shake and I just do that if I don't have time to eat breakfast so I do try to have like you know just like some oatmeal or a bowl of cereal uh, of course not a sugary cereal but something like Cheerios in the morning or um, fruit I love strawberries and right now you know it's easy for me to go and get a carton of you know for two bucks and just dice two of those cartons up and um, put some um, sweetener on it and pop that in the refrigerator and while I'm driving to work I'm able to eat that but you know if that's not possible I will just grab um, one of my little shakers put some powder in there and you know add some water and have that or instead of doing um, if I catch myself being tempted to grab a burger real quick for lunch then I'll do a meal replacement shake then so it's not like I'm hardcore on the meal replacement shakes but if I'm going to I'd rather do that than to either not eat anything in the morning and slow down my metabolism or make a poor meal choice for lunch and then for dinner I've kind of give myself the leeway to within reason you know eat whatever I would like which I have cooked some more recently so it, it may be just like some diced turkey sausage with um, onions and peppers and a uh, sweet potato with it like just a little bit of butter and um, a salad with spinach and kale strawberries um, cr dried cranberries and just light on the honey mustard dressing you know, just really simple things like that. And, you know, I am I really feel like what I'm doing now isn't so drastic that I can't keep up with it. So I feel like I'm on a good road to not only losing the weight, but being able to keep it off, which really excites me because I've lost, gained and lost weight, you know, several times in the past, but I'm really trying to find a way that I don't skyrocket back up to, you know, 190, 195. So, thank you all for your encouragement, for your messages, your comments, and things like that. And I hope that these videos, in some way, are helpful, even if to keep you all encouraged as you all try to reach your weight goals. Be blessed.